We don't usually think of the Moon as having an atmosphere. But all massive bodies attract dust, which can heat up in sunlight and rise above the surface. In fact, Apollo astronauts on several different missions reported a glow at the Moon's horizon as they flew out of the night side and into the sunlight. All massive bodies also attract meteorites, which hit, fracture apart, and make more dust. NASA is sending the Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Explorer, LADI as it's called, to orbit the Moon, surveying what goes on at and near the surface. The Moon is an almost perfect place to study how dust works, knowledge that will answer some deep questions about planets, asteroids, and even stars. The Moon is close by. It receives incoming rocks from space quite often. But those rocks don't burn up before they hit the ground. So LADI will have a rich field in which to prospect as it collects dust and examines the lunar environment with two different spectrometers. LADI will also demonstrate a new way of passing its data to waiting researchers and receiving commands from its controllers. It will communicate by laser, which has the potential of bringing a broadband data pipe to and from space. For more than half a century, space science probes have each been designed and built as custom works of engineering. Now, LADI is one of the first to begin changing that approach. It's built from a series of somewhat standardized modules, almost like very sophisticated Lego blocks, known as the Modular Common Spacecraft Bus. In the future, many different orbiters, landers, and space ferries may be built from such common universal components. LADI will ride up and down as it gathers raw morsels of science, varying its lunar orbit altitude by about 40 kilometers as it goes, in response to mass concentrations under the Moon's surface that cause the gravity field to change quite a bit. The spacecraft will witness more than three complete rotations of the Moon beneath it. Like a spy satellite, it'll cover a lot of ground. LADI itself will become a Moon meteorite, intentionally and in the name of science. After about 100 days of data gathering, mission controllers will gradually lower LADI's orbit, and a little ways into the night side of the Moon, they aim to impact the probe, throwing a plume of Moon material aloft into the low-angle sunlight. Then LADI's pulverized components will themselves become a tiny part of the glow that future astronauts may see as they fly out of lunar night. For Space.com, I'm Dave Brody. Space.com.